Well, there is a public health crisis of loneliness, isolation, and lack of connection in our country. Loneliness among our older adults is an epidemic, and here to talk about it is our friend, who is an aging expert, Mr. Anthony Cirillo. And Anthony, we need to get right into this topic because this is a very real situation that older people are facing. Right, and the reason I brought it to your attention again, we, we kind of knew this, but the Surgeon General of the United States kind of made a proclamation about it about a month or so ago, so it really became front and center. So loneliness is the equivalent, and some people have heard these statistics before, of smoking 15 uh, cigarettes a day. Wow. So, you know, I've never smoked, thank goodness, but uh, I was in a family of smokers, so imagine, I don't even know what how many cigarettes are in a pack but mm -hmm. obviously it's going to impact your physical health your mental health lead to premature uh, death and of course there's a whole mental you know isolation piece and depression that comes with that but the, the interesting part is there's a difference between social isolation lonely versus feeling alone so and so there's a difference and I think that's something I think most people should take the time to explore so let's talk about the article that you wrote you wrote an article about yeah. 60 me and loneliness tell us about right that. so 60 me is a publication I write for and I wrote this article on social isolation of course I take the you know stand on my you know, little pedestal and say you should do this you should yeah. get out there and do that and this and they reran it but the second time they re when they reran it I got all these comments back and they said listen person you uh, I am perfectly happy being alone and so wow. I wrote another article basically making the distinction from being alone to feeling lonely. So being alone is a physical state. So my wife's out in the car right now. I'm going to drop her off. She's going to go with girlfriends up the mountains this weekend. I will be alone. Will I feel lonely? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you will. <laughs> because I have a honey-do list and yes. all kinds of things like that. But being a speaker and a, and a musician and a performer and doing all that kind of thing, I'm, I'm on all the time. So I really do value being alone gotcha. to do other things. And most articles you write about are talking about, here's what you should do, you should practice gratitude, you should take walks in nature, you should listen to music, those kinds of things. But I think there's two different types of people and two different sets of solutions. Well, let's talk about the different types of people. Let's talk about people who are lonely and alone. Right. So there's 15 million what they call elder orphans. I don't like that word necessarily, but these are people who live alone. 15 million. There's even a Facebook group for them if, if people want to uh, talk about that. But th the key to them is they need to do take care of their physical health, their mental health. They need to avoid, you know, they need to get socially involved. They need to avoid isolation because that's when depression sets in and then you, you really start having more problems. The other thing is move to an urban environment where you can easily get around and meet people and take walks and do things like and that. And quickly, what about people who are alone but don't feel lonely? Right. So here's the thing, like me this weekend. So enjoy solitary activities like quiet time. I, quiet time I play my guitar do that go on a date by yourself I'm perfectly fine going to a movie by myself or going somewhere to eat by myself uh, embrace self-care as well and here's the other thing about loneliness is that even if you're not one of those people you may have a full schedule the thing is to take time out of that schedule to give yourself some alone time. Indeed. SaveStream.live. SaveStream.live is a website you can get more information. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank you.